welcome to our today's demonstration video uh, we are going to talk about pump testing uh, reasons for pump testing why you need to cut out pump testing uh, the components that make uh, the pump testing kit and then uh, the the importance or why, why you need different components in a pump testing kit um, yeah in simple terms I can define pump testing as a field experiment that is used to determine the well yield. Yeah, well yield means um, the safe amount of water that you can pump out from your borehole without distorting the water storage fact, the, the water storage, uh, the water storage uh, structures down there, or what we call aquifers. Now, the reason why you need to do pump testing is that you want to determine. The safe, the safe rate at which you can pump your water and then the levels at which the water will be moving. Yeah, that one helps you to select the most appropriate water pumping system. Uh, water pumping system includes a water pump. Uh, it includes uh, the energy source. The energy source can be, can be DC power, which can include uh, power from solar panels or power from batteries. It can be an AC power source that is power from national grid or generators that produce AC. Um, so for every uh, pumping system uh, from underground water that is in specific that was machine drilled or a deep well, you have to have a pump testing report or pump testing information to guide you on selecting the most appropriate pump. Uh, well, if you don't have the pump testing information, yeah, it may be difficult for someone to select an appropriate pump. And there are chances that you may under pump your borehole and the under pumping may not have a problem with your well. But then the problem is uh, putting a higher flow pump than what your well can yield. Yeah, that one can cause uh, what we call silting and silting Continu continuous silting will cause the will cause uh, the seal to cover the water zone, and you lose the well. All you need to do, uh, you have to leave blow. You have to bring a compressor and then blow the the seal that might have clogged inside, and you also lose your pump if you over pump the well. Over pumping the well means that you have installed a pump, your water pump, and you. You're pumping past the rate at which water refills in the well, so that is one of the re that is the most uh, reason why you need to have pump testing information and the right pump testing information. Yeah, it has to be carried out in the right way. Uh, yeah, such that you don't lose your pump and you don't incur extra cost for blowing your your well because blowing requires a lot of resources. Um, yeah. Um, I'm Kamunga James. I am a water resources engineer with West Engineering Limited. Uh, today we are in the eastern part of Uganda, particularly in Busia. We are trying to cut out pump testing here on this well that we drilled. Actually, it is us who also do who did the hydrogeochemical survey to determine the, uh, the best drilling point. And in case you want to find more information about uh, hydrogeochemical surveys, and uh, borehole drilling, uh, you can still check our website. Um, yeah, basically, we have seen that one of the reasons to do pump testing or to cut out pump testing is to select an appropriate pump. Now, when you're cutting out pump testing, you measure depth, you measure depth, uh, you measure time, like the depth at which the water level is reducing, uh, and you also measure the time it takes. Uh, uh, you also measure a specific rate at which you're pumping. Yeah, now during pump testing or pump testing, you can do there, there are different testing hours you can you, you can test out uh, depending on your plant usage. For example, if you plan to install a hand pump, yeah, with a hand pump you may only do uh, about six hours. Uh, that is the that is the standard for that is our standard here uh, you may test for 12 hours that is if you purely plan to use solar and it may not exceed uh, the sunny hours um, you may test for 24 hours 
that's if you plan to maybe install a hybrid pump or you plan to use uh, an AC pump or if your water requirements requires you to pump extra hours um, if the well is yielding less uh, you may test for 48 hours uh, but we may consider testing for 48 hours that's if they we will look at how much water the well can yield and also the storage tank and also the plant usage and you can also test for 72 hours yeah 72 hours is most commonly for uh, like boreholes to serve uh, like a wall village uh, yeah that's when you can do 72 hours and if you plan to pump close to those hours yeah I'm going to talk about uh, oh, during pump testing I don't want to forget this you first cut out what we call step tests because from testing you cut out testing for an extended period of time yeah like i mentioned like uh, six hours but that's for hand pumps and for hand pumps you may not need to do what we call step tests uh what we call step tests they help you to determine uh, the, the rate the constant rate at which you will be pumping out water uh, and now you get this you, you get to know or you get an idea of the steps has like I mentioned that you during this uh, this activity you you are measuring the depth okay? you are setting a certain rate like water is flowing at a certain rate or a certain volume yeah I can measure like uh, maybe 1000 liters per hour now you monitor you monitor time has time elapses you measure depth has time is elapsing and also measure the yield you're getting now you get um, an idea of the steps you, 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 the rate at which you will be doing your steps from what we call drillers estimates. Yeah, when drillers finish their work, uh, it is good for them to give you what we call drillers estimated yield. They get the, they give you an idea that I expect you to get this volume of water from your borehole. Uh, so that's where you determine your steps. And our steps we mean. Uh, that you first cut out, uh, uh, you first cut out small, st small pumping period. For example, you can start with, uh, you can do 60 minutes. That's about one hour. Uh, then you can go to, you, you can do it for 90 minutes. That's one and a half hours. And the other, other pumping period. Yeah, let's see uh, the components that make up. A pump testing kit uh, one of the components is the deeper yeah some people call it a deeper others call it a piezometer yeah I have my colleague here who operates this machine and who keeps on recording values and also time yeah you can see his watch here or we shall see later but this is the deeper this deeper is uh, electronically uh, energized um, as you lower it into the well, it makes this alarm. So this alarm notifies you that uh, it's now in the water. And on the deeper or on the pyrometer, they are, it is calibrated with, uh, with, 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 uh, with the figures in the meters. Yeah, it has uh, up to two decimal places in the meters. So right now we are carrying out what we call a recovery test. Yeah, a recovery test helps you to know how much water recovers in a certain period of time. Um, yeah, this is our field book. Uh, yeah, this is where we record our values for step tests um, and uh, recovery test and constant test. Yeah, this pipe is only to deliver water from the well and we have connected our pump um yeah the other thing i didn't talk about is how do you determine the pump capacity you have to bring yeah the pump capacity depends on uh, you can look at two main factors the main the, the first factor is the drillers estimated yield we talked about it and also uh the planned water usage because the drillers estimated yield might be higher than the actual volume you may need for example, if you only wo need water for domestic use, yeah, you may not you may not need to pump uh, maybe more than two thousand liters, a, uh, uh, maybe per hour. 
So if the drill has estimated the yield is uh, five five thousand liters or ten thousand liters, uh, but when you know um, the estimated water requirement, you may not need to come with a bigger pump because a bigger pump comes with bigger accessories uh, in terms of pipe diameter, in terms of power source. Yeah, we have seen the deeper, we have seen the pipe. Uh, there is this rope. Yeah, this rope helps to hang the pump in the water so that it doesn't fall inside and it helps us to lower the pump and also pull up the pump yeah this is just a wire uh, it's used only to take power to the pump from a power source now we're going to go and see our power source which is a generator in this case and in most cases we use generators even if there is a source of power because it has to be the power has to be constant you have to do your constant test. Uh, for example, if you're going to test for 12 hours or 24 hours, you have to do it non-stop. Yeah, in the case power goes off, uh, in some parts it means you may need to repeat the process, or you may not get the actual the actual values that, uh, and that's the reason why you come to do the test. Yeah, let's see our machine today. This is the power source. In the case you have a stable power, stable power, and uh, maybe someone is sure that power may not go off uh, during the testing hours. Uh, yeah, you can you can just connect to grid, but uh, this is our energy source, and it is a single phase generator because uh, our well yield, um, like the pump we have installed is a single phase pump, and we use three phase pumps for. Bigger pumps and bigger pumps means uh, uh, estimated higher yields, like more than 5,000 liters per hour. But we also look at uh, what we call water strikes, and that is also given in a, uh, a borehole drilling report. Yeah, uh, yeah. When we go to the constant test, we shall see or we shall hear how this uh, this equipment is running. Uh, I'm going to take you to where we measure flow and how we measure it and later on when we start our constant test we shall be able to uh, to show you how water flows yes the other thing we wish to talk about is the distance from the well to the discharging point yeah, it should be some distance away from the borehole such so that uh, what you're pumping out doesn't okay there are the there are no chances that what you're pumping out is affecting uh the recovery rate or is affecting what is down here yeah we are going to go and see where we do the measurements and later on when we start our machine uh, when we go to the constant test we shall show you how we measure flow yeah let's see how things look here yes we are here at our discharging point uh we have uh you, you have to have a container of known capacity yeah this is our container and it is of known capacity that is 18 liters uh so our water comes out from here and then this is a, a control valve this control valve helps us to adjust the flow rate that we are getting here um yeah, we, we are going to start when we are done with the recovery test and see how water comes here, um, how we do measurements with the pyrometer, how the generator lands. Yes, let's watch that. Yes, we are back and uh, we have started our machine. Uh, we have to be able to do so this is our water flows and uh, we are running, we are kind of running from the farm out to the farm. That's why our valve is open. Now what happens? Uh, yeah, what happens uh, is that you measure measure the time you measure the time uh, it takes to fill your measuring capacity 
especially on the yield and dynamic water level uh, you can reach us via our email address and that is info at wasteengineering.com thank you very much we are, we are always welcome for opinions uh, suggestions uh, more knowledge uh, maybe references yeah we are open for all information and uh, we shall be very glad to learn from each other running from you uh, running from a fellow engineer uh, yeah we are glad to share this information and uh, yeah god willing we shall be putting more demo videos because uh, yeah we find it more important for our dear clients or for students uh, for interns for fellow engineers in the same field but uh, maybe without a field exposure uh, like to, 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 to read about this information. Uh, yeah, we think that is what we got to present, but we may present more information about the same and about others. Yeah, thank you very much. God bless you.